Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin wa salatu wassalamu ala sayidina Muhammadin sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man tabi'ahu bi ihsanin ila yaumiddin. First of all I would like to thank all the examiners who has been here today to conduct the oral examination. Mm. Uh, the oral examination of paper submitted by Ariska Arias under the title An Analysis of Guyanese Motivation to Learn English, a case study at English Department, Tarbiyah Faculty, Win Araniri. Uh, before we start the oral examination, as usual, we want to listen the reciting of the Holy Quran. Uh, please, Arias. Ibu Haris, Ariska. Ariska, Ariska. Mana dia orangnya? Mutnya kok masih tidak? Kita belum maju. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Amil, Ibu Haris, Ibu أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه Hudan lil muttaqin Al-lazina yu'minun bil ghaibi wa yukimun as-salata wa mimma razaknahum yunfikun Wal-lazina yu'minun bima unzila ilayka wa ma unzila min tablik Ulaika hudan min rabbihim wa ulaika humul muqlihun. Okay, stop. Sadaqallahul azim. Yeah. Ariska. Yes, miss. Yeah, based on your reciting of the Holy Quran, I noticed some mistakes. I mean, you should... Uh, do it in the future you should recite the Holy Quran uh, correctly yeah uh, there's only mud some mud uh, I, I don't know what I do I, I think I think uh, that is my opinion <laughs> uh, maybe maybe this also uh, uh, influenced by the Guyanese accent yeah uh, of the Arabic of the Arabic Okay, now you present your uh, findings before we start the discussion. Okay. Okay, first, uh, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Lazi, and Amana bin Nikmatil Iman, Wal Islam, Wal Salat, Wal Salam, Ada Iman, Mutala, the main pinda. First, Let's pray and thanks to God Allah Subhanahu Wa Subhanahu. The Lord who always given us His grace and guidance so that we are still alive in, alive in this world. And secondly, uh, salawat and salam, please be upon to most 
Honorable uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who has guided us from the darkness to the lightness. Let us to know uh, for uh, namely Islam. And uh, certainly I would uh, like to say thank you very much. Uh, the Honorable Miss Salami Mahmoud as Chairman, Chairperson. The Honorable Mr. Saipul Akmal uh, as Examiner. The Honorable Mr. T. Zulfikar as Examiner. And Honorable Miss Pera Buspina Jalha as Secretary. Next, I will explain about my, my thesis. Uh, the title is An Analysis on Guyanese Motivation to Learn English, a case study at English Department, Tarbiya Faculty, Win Arani. Okay, uh, I have a PowerPoint uh, and for a uh, first slide is background of study. The first point is education system in Indonesia support student to learn foreign uh, language by including foreign language classes in this curriculum. Like no, uh, English is an international language. Many people speak uh, English as the first or second language than and any other any other language in the world. Uh, English is very popular with uh, studies along the world. The born Indonesian uh, school in cover English into their curriculum. And English is difficult uh, because English has a different structure than the structure of the Indonesian language. Relating uh, English is not easy. Uh, it's not easy. There are, there are some students not inter interested uh, to learn English. However, they are they are also students who are very interested in learning English. This is, this is influence, influenced by their motivation in learning English. It's so uh, that motivation is a key point in learning English. That is slide point two. Motivation is a key point in learning English. So motivation can affect a student success. Motivation in learning English can cannot be separate because motivation is a factor that affect the high or low goals. Someone will succeed in learning if he or he has the desire to learn. The desire to learn in this case is called motivation. So the next point is uh, motivation in learning can divide into two categories. The first category is in intrinsic motivation and extrinsic motivation. Next, uh, intrinsic motivation is motivation that come uh, inside and uh, extrinsic motivation is motivation that comes uh, outside. Next, next slide is research problem. My research problem in this research is what uh, what type of motivation possessed by Guyanese student in English department to learn English. And next slide is liter literature review. The first point in literature review is definition of motivation. 
there are several uh, theories of motiva definition motivation. The first from Ross uh, mentioned that motivation, the heart of teaching language, uh, that is ignored. The next is from Holt uh, said that motivation uh, has allowed been defined as the orientation or encouragement of students related to the learning, learning object or of the subject, especially the second language. And the, from Hayek uh, said that the motivation in the motivation uh, is the con continuous effort toward the goal set. And the next is person uh, at all said that uh, define motivation as, as a component or important factor in the learning process. Uh, based on the sum of the definition above, can be concluded the motivation is the feeling feel by someone who drives him to to do something or to achieve uh, a certain goal next is uh, the next point is type of motivation type of motivation According to Antrop, and interesting motivation improves internal motivation to do something because of the desire or feeling from meeting. For example, someone learn English because he or she uh, like and enjoy learning English. Intrinsic motivation into in two categories, nam namely integrative motivation and instrumental motivation. Integrative motivation, the desire to be part of recognized or important member of community. For example, uh, immigrant, immigration or merit, merit. And in instrument, instrumental motivation is considered as motivation arising for the need to learn a second language for functional or exter external reason. Uh, the example uh, will have a role in getting job, better job and position. And next, uh, type of motivation is extrinsic motivation. Extrinsic motivation is the tendency to take part in activities for reason that are not related to the activity. Uh, for, for example, they need to pass an, an exam expectation of financial reward or the possibility of future travel. And uh, next uh, point is motivation in learning English. Motivation in learning English. Had G uh, state that adult learner who return to learn to learning may con may consider consider at you state that other learner, learner who return to learn men considered language learning as hobby or, or culture. And next is a uh, factor influence student motivation. Uh, they are internal factor and uh, external factor. You can go directly to the research method. Yeah. 
Research method. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And research method this is recent design. Research design. In this research, the I use uh, quantitative research by using electronic means of data collection called uh, Google Form to find out the level of uh, of motivation among Guyanese to learn English. And for sample and population, uh, I get a sample from student of the Department of English Education uh, from 20 uh, and for, for 20 and 14 until 20 and 18 who came from who came from Guyanese student and for population uh, I get a stu student of English uh, language education at uh, Aranir, Aranir State Islamic University from the Guyanese and technique of data collection and data analysis. Uh, that, uh, data, uh, data collection uh, I, get, I get with a questionnaire, use close ended question. Uh, the questionnaire consists of uh, 18 uh, question and the question uh, using Google Form. In data analysis, uh, the, the data will process in the form of a uh, frequency distribution table by using formula. Next is uh, finding and discussion. This table shows the result of the questionnaire related to intrinsic motivation of uh, Guyanese student. Data from this table shows that the effort total uh, for intrinsic motivation is high, high in the ranking of motivation level and total score is Score is four and twenty one. And uh, average uh, value for uh, number number three in this table is highest other uh, than other. And next is uh, Next is uh, extrinsic uh, motivation, a uh, table for ex extrinsic motivation. This table so that the average total score for the extrinsic motivation uh, score is 3 and 5. This means that student extrinsic motivation is at the is at a moderate level. Yeah, come to the conclusion. In conclusion. Yeah, directly to the conclusion. Then this conclusion. Uh, I I get three points in conclusion. The first is the average total score for uh, student intrinsic motivation is four and twenty one. It is considered a high level ranking. And the next, uh, the effort total score for student extrinsic motivation is three and five. It is considered moderate in level ranking motivation. And next is student have higher intrinsic motivation than extrinsic motivation in learning English. In other words, motivation within student is 
greater than motivation than over outside of student. Okay, I think enough uh, my explain about my research. Okay, thank you, Arias. Thank you very much for presenting okay. your uh, finding. Now, before we start the discussion, uh, here we have Pak Saiful Akmal and Pak Tezu Fikal. Both of them are your parents in the English department, so no need to be afraid of, yeah? They, they are very kind. Yes. Uh, first, I would like to invite uh, Pak Saiful Akmal to discuss first uh, about theory. And the time is no more than 10 minutes, yeah, Pak Saiful? Can we contact Pak Saipo, Lipa, or not? Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Oh, yeah. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Well, thank you very much, Ibu Chairperson. And thank you as well, uh, Ariska. Uh, I was assigned by Ms. Vera to discuss Chapter 2. I won't be taking... Uh, longer than 10 minutes, I believe. So the first question is, let's go back to some variables of your research. And I would say that your research is, wait a second, what is the title? I forgot. Analysis of, of, of yeah, bukan on. Uh, yes. If you turn, yeah, if you turn on the Grammarly in, or the grammar check on, on your desktop or mobile it's analysis of uh, so mm, I have questions on motivation first what's the difference this is a very simple question what's the difference between external internal factor because you said external and internal factor in your theory explanations but when you uh, explain your chapter 4 your findings you are using different terms intrinsic and ex extrinsic uh, motivation mm -hmm. what's the difference between intrinsic intrinsic and external internal to start with yeah yes hello arias Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, different uh, intrinsic and extrinsic motivation is uh, intrinsic motivation uh, come uh, uh, motivation that come uh, inside and extrinsic motivation come outside. So, uh, okay. Sorry it, to cut you. Uh, y yes. Uh, the answer are uh, fine, but is there any difference between extrinsic and external motivator motivation and intrinsic and in internal motivation? Internal, oh. and, internal and intrinsic, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, internal. Is it different or? What? All the same. You use different terms. Uh, intrinsic and internal, this I think same, uh, sir. Okay, then you probably better to use the same consistent terms throughout your writings. If you start with external and then you should end up with external, not uh, extrinsic motivation, yeah. Uh, yes. Right. The second, so that's the first point of your revision. The second one, uh, you say that. Wait a second. I'm taking uh, your four point slides again. Uh, right. Uh, in learning English, yeah. 
So, yes. In learning English, you said, what is this? Just a moment. Ah, okay. Are you, are you, uh, <clears throat> this is a problem of the terminology. Mm. Are you assessing the whole aspect of English learning or just simply a general one? Ariska, please, yeah. Ariska, okay. I think your bandwidth uh, is, is very low. Gimana nih bu, pak? It will keep continuingly uh, disconnected because Ariska bandwidth is it's written down there. It's low. Is it okay for Ariska to just have an audio or what? Okay, I think okay. I think okay. Just uh, so, have an audio. I think it's okay to make it better, ya? Yeah. yeah. Kalau putus lagi, Ariska, kamu nggak apa pakai audio lagi. Tapi ini sementara keep going on. So uh, again, uh, let's go back to my question. Is it general English learning you 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 have assess between your fellow Guyanese English students, or you have specific focus on what aspect of learning English you want to see? Maybe you can repeat the question, Pak Saiful. Okay, so Ariska, uh, you, uh, regarding the English learning, uh, Ariska, are you copy me? Do you listen? Yeah, okay. Um, yes, sir. According, uh, in your writing, English learning, you said English learning. Is it the general English learning or you have some specific topics or focus, for example, listening? Reading, writing, speaking. Yeah, that's it. No, sir. Uh, I think uh, in learning English, And not to uh, uh, focus the some maybe, maybe like uh, speaking, uh, listening, and other, but uh, this in learning English, uh, I focus uh, about uh, his motivate. Ariska Arias network bandwidth is low. Bayah, blow pulsa alam tu orang tu. Okay, okay, I got your answer. You are fo you're not focusing on one of the four aspects. Uh, no, my last question, uh, Ibu Chairperson. Um, so you decided to go with your fellow Guyanese English Department student. Can you, this question is related to the methodology, which is not uh, assigned to me, but I think it's related. Can you briefly explain uh, what Guyanese students you are choosing? Are they uh, the one who's studying at English department and living in, uh, of course they're living in Malaysia, yeah? I mean, uh, do you specify your 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 sample? For example, um, your 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 sample is from which batch or cohort? Ariska. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, as well, you you you're using audio call, you know. Okay. Uh, Regarding your uh, Guyanese uh, friend as your participant, do you specify them? Do you limit them? For example, those are English department students from Gayo who are from certain or specific batch, Latin, for example, 
or do you have specific uh, or special uh, categories? For example, you have uh, mostly men, uh, male, and less female, or can you explain a little bit about that? Very briefly. Ariska? Yes, sir. What are you doing there? No, we cannot see you. You are lop lopping scripts in the lunar print. <laughs> can, you answer, can you answer my question and I will ask no more? Stop. Maybe Pak Saiful, he doesn't understand what you are asking. <laughs> you can repeat it once again. Ariska, are you listening? Ariska, the question is on the specific category of the Guyanese. Yeah, Pak Saiful ask you. What specific category you choose as the sample? Okay. Yeah, you you video video no way. Ariska. Yes, sir. Can you answer or not? I, I think uh, I not specific for a uh, uh, sample of a uh, student of, for, from Guyanese. I, I just uh, have a uh, have sample 33. And that, uh, that sample, uh, I get uh, uh, all to uh, my research. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> okay. You finished, Pak Sepo? Yes, yes, I'm done. Thank you very much, Ibu Chairperson. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Pak Saiful. Uh, now, we invite uh, Ampon Dr. T. Zulfikar, MED, to ask uh, the question about the finding of this research. Yes, Ampon, please. Okay. Okay, thank you, Ibu Chairperson. Uh, Ariska, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, Yes. Sir. good. Hey, well, congratulations first, you are already at this stage, uh, but maybe you got some questions unanswered before by Pak pa Saiful, and I would like to ask some questions, uh, some other questions related to, to your thesis. But before I ask you questions, I would like to tell you some issues that you need to revise and fix in your thesis. First, about the cover. Uh, you need to uh, refer to the guideline, to our guideline about how to write the cover. 
uh, we don't translate uh, uh, UIN anymore. We just write Universitas Islam Negeri Aral Negeri Banda Aceh. And also we don't translate uh, faculty, as I remember. Okay, that one thing. And the other issues is about when you write background of the study. It's very simple issues, but I think that's uh, uh, need mentioning here. Background of the study, not background of study only. Background of the study, including the article there. And the same apply to objective of the, of the study, significant of the study. Uh, so you need to put the, the there. Okay. And yeah, instead of writing research problem, you better ask, you better write research question because you ask the question there. Okay. You describe yeah. the problem a bit and then you ask the questions. So you have to write research questions instead of research problem. Okay, good. One first question is that's not, maybe not, it's related to methodology. One, uh, what is your method of data collection? Method uh, is how do you collect it? Hmm? Sir? How, how did you collect the data? Uh, data. Uh, okay. Hello, Ariska. Yes, sir. Yeah, how did you collect the data? I collect data uh, from uh, Google Form, sir. With Google Form. Questionnaire. Is that kind of questionnaire or what? Questionnaire, sir. Okay. Questionnaire. All right. It, um, but my question is another question is coming up from that question. How do you come, how do you get the ideas to write the question in the questionnaire? Do you do it yourself or you copy it from quote unquote? Uh, the pre pre designs questionnaires. One of uh, uh, questioner, uh, I got from uh, other uh, other mm -hmm. some maybe and I I have a. Uh, uh, I get from uh, other other uh, okay uh, from uh, from I get it from so how many questions in the questionnaire then? Uh, 18. 18 questions. Yes, sir. So do you think that's sufficient as to identify the motivation of the students uh, since you only have uh, 18 questions? In the uh, question, uh, extrinsic. No, no, my question is that, do you think the 18 question is sufficient to identify the motivation of the Guyanese students in learning English? Do you think that's sufficient? Do you think the data is, the, the question is enough to reveal the motivation of the student? I think uh, it's enough, sir. Enough, why? Because uh, this question, uh, I got some, some, uh, some point uh, with the, with the theory, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, example, uh, from, uh, I got uh, from, uh, 
intrinsic uh, integrative instrumental and extrinsic i get uh, all of uh, definition to one question okay okay right okay so you only have one method of data collection only questionnaire yes only question if the only questionnaire in your writing the thesis don't need to put uh what we call it bullet there not put a ah. you don't have to put a questionnaire because you only have one you don't have b so just write method of the type collections questionnaires you need to put a because i see in your thesis you just put the bullet there with an, with, with an a but there's no b so there's no point oh, to put yes. a without a b okay okay all right good so in related to possible questions about the sample and possible asked whether they have special badge for that is there any letting for that and you said no but in your powerpoint i i noticed that you you mentioned you you wrote what we call it uh letting 20 uh, 2014 14. and 2000 and something and 20 or 18. something or 19 or 18. yeah yeah so you're not very consistent then. You don't know what you're answering to pass it for. Sorry, sir. Yeah? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, you mentioned the intrinsic motivation is, uh, uh, is, is, is higher than the extrinsic yes. motivation for the student to learn English. Right? Yes. Okay, so do you know do you think you have an idea of why that happened? Why the students have more intrinsic motivation to learn English than the extra intrinsic motivation? Do you have an idea for that? Yes, sir. Yeah, what's, what's your comment? Hmm? Hello, Arias. Can you listen to the question of Fazul? Arias? No comment. Yeah, please comment. The, my question is, why do you think the students have higher intrinsic motivation in learning English rather than extrinsic motivation? I think, uh, I think uh, why uh, the why motivation of violinist is high uh, is intrinsic because all uh, in in uh, in the year uh, uh, so much uh, from Susan Gayo uh, Kulia eh, uh, in uh, in PBE I think that's uh, I know, I know that, but my question is why that come from themselves, not from out of the, uh, not the external factors, but the internal factors. You mentioned that in your thesis actually, already, but you, you just don't recall. Okay, one last two questions actually, uh, Ibu Chai person. Uh, one is, is there any relationship with their motivations and their GPA? Do you think is the, this motivation, higher motivation, related, positively related to the GP, GPA? You know GPA, IPK? Yeah. Do you understand the question, Ariska? 
Do you understand? If someone who has high motivation in studying English will have good achievement in English, yeah? Pak Jol, yeah? Yeah. And JPA. I think uh, maybe, sir. Maybe, sir, because uh, I not uh, not question but the their GPA, but yeah. their uh, GPA. Yeah, you don't ask oh, them. This is uh, our exit strategy. Eh? <laughs> to avoid my question, your exit strategy. But, but there, there can be another research, Pak Jo. There can yes, be another. Yes, that's why the exit strategy. Very good exit strategy. One last question. You mentioned also uh, the student learning English because of extrinsic motivation. Can you mention some of them? What are the extrinsic motivation that, uh, what we call it, that motivate them to learn English? Sir? Can you just mention a couple of in extrinsic motivations that motivate the student to learn English? You know the questions? Extrinsic motivation. That is the question from Pak Jo. Extrinsic motivation. Yeah. Hello. Okay then. That's it from me, Ibu Chairperson. He, he cannot answer my questions. So it's not worth, worth waiting anymore. Uh, I'll return okay. to you. Okay, salam alaikum. Thank you, Pak Jol. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you very much, Pak Jol. This is the first time for, I don't know, for PB, PBI, the first time to do the oral examination during the COVID. Huh? Right, yeah? So we have some difficulties maybe about the connection, but any, uh, anything, Alhamdulillah, it's okay, Ran. Ariska, can you yes, hear me? Yes, Mr. Yeah. I want to ask you one question uh, related to the motivation. You yourself, what kind of motivation do you have to study English at English department? Can you tell me? Maybe... Excellency not maybe, not maybe. Yes. That is you. It must be exactly, not maybe. Excellency motivation. External, yeah? Yes. External motivation, yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I would like to congratulate you today. Uh, you can present your thesis or script C today, even in this COVID time. And I would like to thank uh, Pak Saifur Akmal and Pak Tezul as the examiner and uh, Fera as the secretary and also uh, Difa, yeah? Difa as the host today and I hope uh, this first experience of um, oral examination during the COVID time uh, will be the there is lesson learned maybe from us uh, to do the next uh, oral examination. And I would like to apologize for all inconvenience to run this oral examination. Uh, finally, I would like to say Alhamdulillah and this oral examination is officially closed. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Just a moment, just a moment, Ibu. Okay, okay. We have one more proceeding um, before we go. Okay. Uh, shall we announce whether uh, Arias will be... Oh, eligible? yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot. Uh -huh. So, I Sorry. think, uh, Arias, you, you can excuse us for a moment. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. You can okay. join back uh -uh, okay. once uh, we have agreement. So approximately three, four minutes from now on. Uh, Ariska, you can disconnect for a moment and then you can go, go back afterwards, yeah? Okay. Okay. 
Okey. Ha. Sudah disconnect. Sudah. Dah lah disconnect. Belum ya? Dia dia ada lagi. Sudah disconnect dia. Heeh. Ya lah, lah lah. Dah. Lala juga. Okey. Lala kalau di Ya. Alright. Diva, Diva juga mau disconnect. Disconnect ini mau di stop aja recordingnya. Tadi kan. Oh ya, okay okay. Oh di stop aja ya, stop. Ah, sudah. Diskusinya. Diva nggak apa-apa. Pira ada kan masih kan? Mana diskusinya dulu? Sudah. Good. Okay, we done. Okay. Ah. Ah, no ibu. Ibu Salami, okay. Ibu Ulak tu. Ibu Salami atau apa? Saya kembalikan Ibu Salami lah. Okay, baik baik. Okay, thank you. Uh, after we discuss, uh, Ariska, we decide that you pass this oral examination. So, uh, we don't need to receive this exam and uh, send our salam to your parents and tell them yeah. that you have finished your study today and you should revise some mistakes after lebaran maybe uh, can you listen to me yes sir Ariska? yes sir uh, so you understand what is the result of your oral examination today so yeah alhamdulillah uh, Today we close this oral examination officially by saying Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Okay, thank you very much all of you Thank you